Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Avedon the Black Fortress. Today we are going back to um, Keondario, Castle of the Bow specifically, because peace talks are happening and they need to be safe peace talks, of course. Wouldn't want something bad to happen. That would be horrible. This, do you think this whole peace process... Um, <laughs> Do you think this whole peace process um, is part of the big ploy to take down Avedon? I don't know. Avedon's welcome, apparently. Ah. I get the feeling it's pretty straightforward from here to the end of the game. But maybe that's just me. So, do Griffin. You're the one that requires something, not me. Once again, you approach Duke Griffin in his great hall. His energy and optimism have faded, and he has been suffering a number of sleepless nights. And yet, when he sees you, the mischievous glint returns into his eyes. I welcome you back, Simplicity. I am sorry for my reduced state. The closer victory gets, the more I worry. I will bring Calamdario to a better place, and yet I can't sleep. I have called you here for an errand. Perhaps it's beneath you, but your presence will increase chances of my success, so I have, I have asked for it. Wait. For an errand? I thought I was there to make it safe. Hand Gavin? Okay, you've called me back here. What is happening? As you might have been told back in Avedon, my efforts to end our arguments with all Clanda have are having some success. Envoys from our rival nation will soon be arriving here at Castle of a Bow. Before negotiations can begin, your friend Monitor Shigas, my friend. I don't like him very much to be honest, has been exploring our castle security reasons. He is worried about assassins reaching the whole clan and voice. He asked for your help. Um. Okay. I guess this is where we get to explore the entirety of the castle then. Hmm. Will you, what will you be negotiating? Probably nothing of any significance. The importance is that our representatives will be talking. This has not happened in years. The whole clandons have their own strong ideas of honor, and Kellum soldiers sacrificing their lives carries more some weight with them. Okay. When will the invoice be here, then? They could arrive at any hour. When they are here, I will greet them here in this hall. Okay, so what does he need? What has spread through Calendario that envoys from Hoclanda are coming here? That might draw assassins, sent by nobles who have on their own reasons to force our struggle to continue. For that reason, Monitor Shiga is searching for our fort for assassins. A bit paranoid, perhaps, but I do want to keep him calm. You yourself admitted that perhaps others will send assassins. Don't, like, I mean... It's weird and nonsensical. Did you think there will be any assassins? I think that it is possible, but unlikely. I am powerful. The other nobles know that it would be foolish to embarrass me. Ah, you're being foolish then. Like, he thinks himself above such things, and that's when you take the biggest falls, generally. There are new excavations underneath our fortress. We are digging out a new series of halls. Shiga suspected that infiltrators might find their way in through the new tunnels. He is down there now. The stairs down to those tunnels are just south of this hall. I will make sure that you gain access. And if I do find assassins, well, I kill them, I assume. You have the power of Avedon. Do whatever you need to do to help the stability of the pack. Just remember, if someone were to slay a whole clan and envoy in a Kelimdario fort, it would be, um... Very unfortunate. Indeed. So you're telling me she guys needs to live no matter what. I'll go. I'll go and see. I'm grateful. Much much can be achieved now. All we need to, yeah. All we need to keep the whole cannons calm. If they are angered, years of peace inside the pact are at risk. Do you need anything else before you go? Oh, will you tell me why? Hmm. The griffin looks around at the courtiers and envoys of the dukes of Calendario. They don't seem like they are listening, and yet you're sure they don't miss a single word. It is not polit politic to speak, and yet I feel I should. This is a time of great tumult, of great indecision. The pack flirts with weakness, and its future is in the balance. I must do what I can to create a strong Calendario. What are you trying to decide? I need to decide what is best for Calendario. 
you don't lead Calendario. You're just one lord among Calendario. He's very arrogant. That means that at this point I am trying to bring greater peace and stability to the pact, even if it costs our pride. Why is there such chaos right now? It will happen eventually. Peace never happens forever. There's no reason this time more there's no reason this time is more uncertain than any other. Are you aware of the conspiracy against the pact? Is that what you're worried about? You think the pact flirts with weakness? The pact is a great power, but it is aging. It is suffering the weakness of empire or complacency brought on by too much strength for too long. What is happening to Avedon? Its hands are being attacked, yes? Even in Avedon itself. This is a symptom. I agree. We must do our best to defend the pack, do you? What does my character think? Possibly. Is she more of an optimism? optimist? I don't know. Of course, that is what I have been doing. Only remember, the tail does not wag the dog. I serve the pack so that Calendario is strong. My great love for my is for my people. There can be no other way. So please, do all you can to help me. I have much to do. What else do you need to know? I see. So he expects the pack to fall apart and he thinks Calendario will be better off if it doesn't have to fight the whole Clandians. Once that does happen. Pretty sure that's his reasoning. Interesting. Well, I'd like to know more about Han Gavin. Yes, the rogue Han. A very ugly business. He was using my castle as a base for his operations. Exploring Peraza, looking for spies, that sort of thing. Then I learned that he was actually disloyal. He was spying on us and sending information to the Taiwan Empire. Before he could be caught, however, he fled. I mean, I'm surprised that you're still interested in him. I think your time traveling the woods is done. Maybe, I don't know. How long ago was this? Only a few months. It shames me that we have not yet brought him to justice. How did you learn of his treachery, by the way? Lucky chance. I was... A miss it was a misdelivered letter. It was meant for Han Gavin, but given to my assistant Janaya by mistake. She read it, found that it was from the Taiwan, and led to investigation. In Gavin's quarters we found all the evidence of his treachery we needed, however, by the time we could inform Redbeard and get his and get permission to seize the traitor, he had fled. Well then, where's Gavin now? He fled west into the wilds of the Varads woods, an untamed territory, and one, alas, that he had spent some time exploring. He is probably still out there now. I mean, kill him if you find him, I guess. Would be best if he was abducted and brought to the Avalon dungeons. However, in the Baradza, in the wilds of Baradza, that might not be possible. Killing him may be your only option. Of course, I hope that you do not spend time out in the woods. Pressing business is here in the castle. Am I... Um... Interesting? Let's conduct our business with Shigas. And then deal with the traitor. Because it feels like now I can actually find the traitor, right? Something to that effect, at least. Uh, which is not something that would have been possible earlier, apparently. Or something. Where is Where are the tunnels going to be? Up there, maybe? Eh, maybe. Yeah, let's do this because I'm... I wonder if... Um... Hi. Oh, you have things to trade. What kind of things? Boring things. Yeah, nothing special. Bye. So... Oh, can I enchant things here? <laughs> this guy is blocking us, holy crap. Amazing. So that's not the tunnel. Oh wait, he said like the entrance was south of here, so probably you don't enter from here. 
Now I remember. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm just wondering because you get both quests at once and I'm wondering if that's a choice you make. Either be here and make sure the peace talks go through or don't be here because you're searching for some traitor and the peace talks don't go through, you know? That might be what's going on here. I don't, I don't actually know. Oh, this is the thing. This chamber is full of tools, cards, lamps, and other digging gear. A trapdoor leads down to the depths. This must be where you can access the new excavation under the castle of a bow. Monitor Shigaz is waiting for you below. There are no workers here and no guards. It's oddly silent. Perhaps Shigaz sent everyone away before he went downstairs. You are near the start of a very long and eventful encounter. If there is anything you have been wanting to do, like change scarabs or hunt down absent team members, you might wish to do it before you go downstairs. Is this the final mission? Should I go after Han Gavin before this then? That's... Um, I don't know. Let's just do it. It That looks like a warning. You're, you're reaching a no turning back point. Can you go back out? Okay, they don't let me out. Well, thanks for the warning game. But I am pretty happy with where I am. You enter a large natural cavern. It must be it must have been under Castle of a Bow all along until the workers dug a shaft that opened up into it. There are several armed figures at the far end of the cave, and they appear and they wear heavy cloaks and hoods that obscure their faces. They are watching the Western Passage and arguing. You hear a word them <laughs> say, It's not going to fight him. I'm not going to fight him. Then one of the warriors turns and notices you. The hand! Get him! Sheikas is not among them. Well, that's a good news. I mean, that means he's not the traitor, right? Cloaked assassins? Hooded cultists? What is this? Cloaked assassins and hooded cultists. That's what we're fighting, alright. Really? Gonna throw a bomb at me. Jerk. Should I use spells? It's fun. Immune! Oh, no way. I guess I shouldn't use that spell too much. Because it kind of wastes my time. Alright. Let's go deal with this guy. You just gotta click on him. It's gotta be fine. It's easy difficulty. Well, no, it's normal, but I didn't put it on actual easy, by the way. It's normal difficulty still. Normal is easy, is my point. The Loaded Cultist actually has some HP to his name. Battle Frenzy. Well, at least they're missing a lot. Keep the pressure on the, on the guy. No, why? I hate misclicks. I really, really hate misclicks. Well, shit happens. What can you do? There you go. He's using Dark Bolt, isn't he? That's one way to do it, I suppose. Nice. Hmm. Didn't think you'd make it, but okay. Alright, so that was a thing. Speed Burst, always useful. Never used, but always useful. <laughs> Oops. I keep trying to use WASD to do this. It's the arrow keys that do it. Eh. Oh, this would be Shigas. And he killed some people, I think. Hello. 
There are four people in this room, all cleaned in from the look of their garb. Three of them are dead, freshly murdered, probably by the thugs to the east. The fourth man sits against a pillar of stone, laid lying against his lap. He is grievously wounded, stabbed several times in the stomach and chest. As he pulls himself agonizingly slowly to his feet, you can see that it is Monitor Shigas. He does not greet you the way you expected. When he recognizes you in the dim light, he spits at you. You will pay for this treachery. What happened here, Shigas? I'm not your foe. Ha! You kind of finished the job yourself and you try to trick me that. That must be it. I drove off your assassins. Now you come. Those well, assassins, I have already fought them. Shigas, not Shigas. Shigas shakes his head. Really delirious. No tricks. Tricks. All dead, all dead. I will strop you. He will have to be subdued, they say. Does that mean I need to hit him? Or does that mean I need to daze him or something? I have something called Stunning Blow, don't I? Stunning Bash, there you go. Stun Resisted! Of course it is. Hold on. Let's try this then. That is Resisted as well. Wow, he stunned the other two. Hold on, I have something against that. Is that an actual boss? Oh my god, stop stunning everyone. Alright, you know what? If we want to be like that, we're going to be like that. Jesus, he's in a frenzy. Frenzy indeed. Just hit him. I said hit him, please. So, so, okay. Not very good at dealing damage, apparently. Or he's just very resistant. Hey, I get turns! Look at that! Let's just click on him, I think it's going to be fine. I'm supposed to not kill him, ideally. It's easier said than done, though. I mean, this is not on the tail, so I don't expect this to, him to suddenly die out of nowhere. There you go. He falls to the ground, his wounds were mortal, but he still had some strength left. All of that is gone. His blade falls to the floor with a clatter. He looks up at you. I don't understand it. The peace betrayed me. Why? I don't know. Try to heal him. He kind of needs it. No, pain ends. It's good. Just want to know why. I don't know what you're talking about. You, simple as is it? I I fought by you. I why did you come down here? Your Griffin told me that you wanted my help down here. Duke, but he told me to bring my warriors down. Since something was heard, he sent me. Said nothing about. Don't understand. Oh, the Duke is betraying the pact. Interesting. And he, oh wow, he wants to blame Avadon for this. I'll try to save you, you can tell your story back in the castle. Struggle oh, for fighting over, I think of home, family, when last time I understand. Hmm. Oops. Well, as far as I can tell, it seems like a setup from the Duke. Where he wants to blame Avedon for sabotaging the talks. Which would mean, A, he doesn't want um, peace with Hawklander, but B, I don't know what he's hoping to gain from this. Strange. You emerge into a clearing, the stone spire Castle Vibo rests upon looms behind you. You can clearly see over 50 feet above you the ramparts monitor Shigas used to look out over the Barraza woods. There are four people there. Three of them wear the garb of Hawklander's. The fourth is easily recognizable by the gold circle he wears. It is Duke Griffin. 
You realize that your bloodied weapons and scratched armor are clearly visible from where you stand. The whole clan dance must be the envoys, come to discuss diplomatic matters. However, when the duke points at you and shouts in the lawn, you realize that something's going very wrong. Oh, interesting. Moments later, the whole clandons are pointing at you and shouting. You hear horns. One of the whole clandons has to be physically restrained from attacking the duke. And as the four of them step back from the rampart, you can hear the castle enter a state of alarm. Nice setup, duke. There's a path winding through the woods going to the north and to the west. From the north, you hear shouting and howling. Already, the defenders of Castle Vibo are sending hunting parties in the woods. It is as if they were already prepared to do so. The western path leads away from the castle. Seems very tempting. Escape castle of a bow. Very tempting, you say. Let's give ourselves a hard save. Actually, no. Save here. Give ourselves a hard save and go north. I don't know what his plan is, but I'm done going exactly where you where he wants me to go. Hunt master, he says. Jerk master, or like. God damn it, hold on. I can remove that. Go attack this. The other two is gonna, are going to deal with the wolves. Should be easy enough. Hmm. Kill this. Really? Oh, this one's stronger. Interesting. Stunned. Well, I'm not gonna spend another spell on that. We're basically the- Why would you go there? This is so straightforward, why? Ah, doesn't matter. Seven is stunned, no more though. Hi. Oh, that's a lot of basilisks, actually. A lot of um, potential stuns. He should have been here, Sevelyn, but I didn't place him, I just clicked on the <laughs> That was sneezing, it didn't necessarily sound like it because she was trying to hold him back because she knows I'm recording, but that was sneezing, in case you were wondering. Oh, some of them are actually pretty strong. Let's kill the other ones first. I'm practically immune to stuns, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, yeah, okay, I can get rid of that one. Eventually. Thankfully, they're attacking things that have a lot of HP, so I'm not too worried here. Alright, let's see. Here is ideal. Gets all but one. Alright. This allows us to know which ones are the weaker ones. Okay, which ones are the targets? The actual targets. Oh, it died of corruption. So we can focus on the correct targets. And of course they're stunned because they're not immune to mind effects like we are. Did I see a cleave from them? Maybe. I don't know. We're just gonna kill them all. Because we can't. Yes, I did see a cleave from them. But I'm gonna move back a ways because my tank and half tank are fine, but she's not. Oh. Is this infinite? This might be infinite. Might be infinite. You might be 
intended to go west. I'll consider it. Game. We'll see how long this keeps up. Because I can keep this up a long time. I'm not too worried about any of this. There's more coming. Keeps getting stunned. Well, I got this back now. What do you mean stunned? I removed it normally. In theory. Okay. Fish this one. Come on. Gonna kill itself. Oh, it missed too, so it didn't kill itself on the spines. Um, starting to need a group heal. Actually, I'm gonna use the uh, scarab I have of it. It's gonna be a better use of my resources. Because I'm pretty sure the scarabs don't actually cost any um, vitality. Oh, is there an end to them? None of them are coming out right now. Well then, with the, with the last wave I was gonna say, I was beginning to think that it, they were endless and maybe they are. I'm beginning to think that again. Why would you go there? The eternal question. Why do you go the places that you go? Alright, we're gonna have a... Uh, I, get th I get the message, game. You want us to flee. Let us flee, then. And, of course, stunned. We can kill those, it's fine. Um, kill that. I mean, they're not that strong, are they? Of course, I can't keep running if he keeps being stunned. He's out of stun now, though. Just needs to stay that way, and then we can start leaving. Not a good bow. If there's another wave after this, it's definitely infinite. I don't see another wave yet. Well, maybe we're done. I'm curious. Yeah, there's another wave. Let's go. Let's go! Whoops. I was trying to leave. Excuse me? Is it just a guy in the back that's bothering you guys? It might be, because I'm not seeing anything else appear. Man, I'm going to be stuck in combat this entire time. I just have to make it here, is that it? Can I leave? I can just leave. The Barraza. Deep woods. Han Gavin might not be a traitor, then. Since the Duke is a traitor. Well, I have suspected that. Like, I was suspicious of him trying to do... Uh, um, I, I have expected... Well, no. What was I trying to say? Yeah, I was suspicious of him trying to do justice on the hand at first. Because that's not his place. It's been 30 minutes. I need to end the episode. God damn it. At last, after miles of running through the thickets of the Barraza Woods, hounded at every moment by the wolves and basilisks of Castle Vabo, you are granted a few moments of peace. You collapse, panting on the west shore of a wide, slow-flowing stream. An hour of trudging through its cold water seems to have thrown your pursuers off the scent. You have some time to digest what has happened to you. Monitor Shiga's murdered. You accused of the crime, packed soldiers hunting you. Not good. 
Severin looks north toward Castle for Bow, ambushed once again, at least this time, with the, those with the poor luck to be traveling with me have survived. <laughs> Janelle sifts in the air. At least we are back in the forest, my preferred territory. Anyone who thinks I will submit peacefully to this injustice will receive an ugly surprise. Stop moving, guys. I want to end the episode. Your brief rest comes to an unhappy hand. Somehow someone has picked up your trail to the north you hear howls, followed by hisses, followed by horns. The bang and tumult approaches from that direction. Your pursuers are numerous, close and getting closer, and the woods to the south are too dense for speedy travel. Only the pathway to the west leads away from them. You know what? I intended to record another episode anyway. Next time, we're fleeing again, because we have to, apparently. Until then, see y'all.